And now for our dinosaur of the day, Irritator, which was a request from Cole via Patreon. So thanks, Cole. Irritator is a spinosaurid theropod that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Brazil. And it was described in 1996 by Martel, Crookshank, Frey, Small, and Clark. In their paper, A New Crested Manoraptor and Dinosaur from the Santana Formation, Lower Cretaceous of Brazil. It was more fully described in the paper Irritator Challengeri, a spinosaurid Dinosauria theropoda from the Lower Cretaceous of Brazil, which was published in 2002. Only one fossil has been found, and it's of a 32-inch or 80-centimeter long skull, a nearly complete skull. It's not well preserved. There was plaster that obscured the fossil, which was added by fossil poachers who illegally sold the fossil to make the fossil look more complete. And the buyers, unfortunately, didn't realize the amount of work required to restore this fossil when they bought it, and that's how it became known as Irritator. (laughs) That's a pretty funny origin story. Yeah, yeah. The authors wrote that the name came from, quote, irritation, the feeling the authors felt understated here when discovering that the snout had been artificially elongated, end quote. <laughs> yeah, we, there was that one dinosaur that was discovered at the bottom of a cliff in Argentina, and it got named after a local demon or something that, like, torments farmers for a similar reason, like they had been cursed with this particularly difficult excavation (laughs) those are the funniest names so the type species is irritator challenger i and the species name is in honor of professor challenger a character in arthur conan doyle's the lost world which is a story about an expedition to the amazon basin where the characters find dinosaurs it's not known exactly where the fossil was found since it was sold illegally but it probably came from the Romaldo member of the santana formation based on the type of rock it's found in This area is about 110 million years old and came from a time when Africa and South America were still connected in the north of Brazil. Irritator probably ate fish. It may have eaten other animals, whatever it could catch as well. There's a pterosaur found with a tooth, probably from Irritator, in its neck, so maybe it ate pterosaurs. It had thin teeth, which would have been good for catching slippery prey, and it constantly replaced its teeth. Its skull looks a lot like Suchomimus and Spinosaurus, and it's got this crocodile-like head. Does it look like a Spinosaurus even without the artificial elongation? Yes, and it had nostrils at the back of its skull as well, which was also crocodile-like. Cool. So it's thought to have a sagittal crest, which is a bony ridge on the top of the skull that's attached to the jaw muscles. And this crest means it probably had strong neck muscles, so it could close its jaws quickly, even in water. But that doesn't mean that it's specialized in eating fish. Irritators often considered to be synonymous with... Engaturama, which lived at the same time and place. Also, the fossils found on Engaturama seem to complete the irritator fossil, so they could even be the same specimen, which would be crazy. Hmm. And Engaturama was described in 1996, shortly after irritator, based on a fossil found in the Santana Formation. And later, 60% of the skeleton was found, so a replica was made and put on display at the Rio de Janeiro National Museum. Several paleontologists think that Irritator and Angaterama are different, though, based on Angaterama having a higher, more flattened head, I guess. Hmm. Diane Scott fully cleaned the skull of Irritator, and that's how there was a new paper published in 2002 to further describe the specimen. And they found that, you know, there's this narrow skull with an elongated snout, but it turns out the back of the skull was deeper than originally thought. Its teeth were similar to Spinosaurus aegypticus, but it's hard to compare other parts of the body because of the lack of fossils. In this 2002 description of Irritator, they also found that it didn't actually have a crest. Huh. Yeah. In 2004, parts of a spinal column of a Spinosaurus were found in the Santana Formation, and they are thought to belong to Irritator. So Irritator is estimated to be about 26 feet or 8 meters long, though Gregory Paul said in 2010 it may have only been 7.5 meters long. It may have had a sail too, but that's just a guess since no fossil has been found. Yeah, there's always a lot of speculation that goes on, especially with these super partial finds. But if the skull looks just like Spinosaurus, seems like odds are good that it would have a sail like Spinosaurus. 